Hi guys, welcome to the short video about a very, very interesting new option or some new options in the VIDIO online video editor. I got an email about one week ago that they have added some absolutely awesome AI functions. Actually, the things which I have been waiting for and the things which cost me about 90% of the whole editing time. So they promise to remove now automatically some mistakes which you have done. So when you repeat things like you're starting a sentence and you stop after a couple of words, uh, you don't know how to finish the sentence, you start it again, so they realize that and remove the first attempt or first attempts and then such filler words and remove also pauses and they again, yeah, double takes and uh, these things. So this is pretty much about 90% of the editing. I don't know why other AI video editors are not aware of that. I'm working now with Capwing Video Editor and they are also providing some AI function. They even have added a transcript where you can basically do video editing based on text. That's crazy. So if you see something which is wrong, you double click and click on delete and it's gone. You don't have to go into the real uh, editing. And so that's nice, but what they don't have are these things and these things are important to have really efficient video editing. And so I applied now for early access and it was granted and now I have the video editor open. And so I wanted to show you how this works now. And so of course what we need is a video file. So I drag and drop this here. That's a video which I've just recorded and I had a lot of double takes, a lot of mistakes. It's full of filler words and so on and so on. And what they are saying, you just have to click on it and then use the magic cut here. So even some explanation instantly cut all the stuff you don't want from your video with the help of AI. What I think here, I mean, the whole video is around 20 minutes. I hope you can see that. I think it should be around 20 minutes. So what's a little bit weird here is that they are saying my video is 12 minutes. It's actually supposed to be 20 minutes. I don't know if there's a limitation here because I'm on a free account. That could be the case. I don't know, but I'm just clicking here. to get also some idea what they are doing. So there are even some options. One is social media clip and one, but this is upcoming clean edit, pick the best takes, remove silence, fill up words. That's a little bit weird because I thought that's the magic cut early access. So I think we have to use this social media clip. We use that. Okay, looks like it's working in the background. Takes some time. So we let it run. And so after a couple of minutes, we get the result and you can see the huge difference. The whole thing was reduced from 12 minutes to below three minutes. So it really looks like in the free version, there was this maximum of 12 minutes or so, but still it has reduced 12 minutes to below three minutes. And now the very interesting thing is to see what's the result. Because we have seen this already in capping.com and they introduced this automatic scripting. It was really nice, but actually it's useless because it is not working really accurate. So every cut you do with the text editing, you have to fine tune. And so you're not saving any time at all. So what I'm doing here, I stop talking for one minute and then I let it play for one minute. So I play the first one minute, what it has done automatically. And after one minute, I will stop and then I will continue to talk to you again. So let's start this here. Hi guys, welcome to the short video about very high possible mobile phone bills after going on a cruise. So this is specifically for T-Mobile, but I think it's very similar for most of the other carriers. 
I got the numbers from the support of T-Mobile and they told me that a call is charged with $5.99 per minute and $15 per megabyte of data if you're using the apps or browsing or uh, email or whatsoever. So now let's talk about what to do, how to prevent that. Of course, the most safe thing to do would be to uh, turn off your mobile phone completely as soon as you're getting close to such a cruise ship. So what to do? What you can do is to use the airplane mode. So on top of that, you can also use Okay, so I went a little bit uh, beyond one minute, but you can see how well this is done, but it's not perfect. I think it has cut out a little bit too much because some things don't make any sense like they are arranged now. But in general, the result is really, really good. I mean, I have made a total mess with these 20 minutes, I have to tell you, unfortunately. And so I probably challenged this uh, automatic AI cutting quite to the limit. But I would say if I had paid a little bit more attention to recording and record a little bit cleaner then I think I could almost use this just one to one put everything here let it edit automatically and have the result and add maybe some text a little bit on top of that and that's it and this could save me a lot of time in the future what I wished is that I would see the cuts here a little bit better and I make this a little bit shorter I don't know if I can see yeah here we can see the single clips here let's make them a little bit large unfortunately they have everything far down that's one of the biggest disadvantages of weed io no matter how much i pull this up it sticks always uh, very low i don't like that but i mean okay i can still see that so you can see here these things the only question for me is then what to do if I realize that there is something missing. How would I get the part back here in between? You can see it has done the cutting here, but how could I get something back which was removed in between? I mean, I can reduce the length here, but I can't increase that. You can see I can even remove that, but I can't make it. Yeah, I, now I can make it longer. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't work before, but we can still work a little bit with that. Make it shorter, make it longer and get the parts back which have been removed. That's cool. But it could be really difficult to find things which have been cut out automatically. I think that's the biggest disadvantage here. So I wish they would show the whole thing here and maybe mark everything in purple which they have been using and everything which they have been skipping leave white or so. So we could easily go there and play also the parts which they have been cutting out to double check if they haven't been cutting out really important things. But in general, it has done a really good job. I have still heard some filler words, but definitely not as much as I've been using in the original video. So I think as a first shot, it's absolutely amazing. The only thing is then just the pricing. As you can see, it's pretty expensive. I think when we check all the features you can see with the basic which is pretty much the same price as the cap wing uh, you have quite some limitations and even with the Pro that's one of the biggest disadvantages here of Weed I.O. we have quite some limitation in storage where cap wing doesn't have any cap on the storage that's awesome i love the thing that we can store as much video as we want and even when you have to go back like half a year and edit one of the videos which you had there you can still go into that and edit and render it again because 20 gigabytes that's not a lot some of my single video projects are already using 20 gigabytes so this is definitely not uh, a lot and so with the pro there should be much more included than only 20 gigabytes so this basically means you can upload edit render it 
and then you have to delete it again. That's very, very disappointing. Also, the video length here with the $18 limited to 25 minutes, it's definitely not enough. And I mean, 18 is something which a lot of people could afford, but five gigabytes, that's less than a lot of my video projects are using, especially when you use like GoPro footage or so, these files are usually huge and they can easily fill up just after a couple of minutes you have like five or ten gigabytes this is one of the biggest problems here with Vite io but the ai function seems to work really good of course i wanted to also check how it is at the end after rendering by the way it got stuck during the rendering like forever and even after half an hour it was still stuck so i refreshed the page and i got the video or at least they are saying that's the finalized video and when we start the video playing, there is nothing on it for the first, I think, one Four minute. Yeah, well, so something like that. There is really nothing on it till uh, exactly one minute. But on the other hand, there is quite some missing here at the end of the video. So it's definitely uh, not really working at the moment. But I guess they are still working on that. So at the moment doesn't look too bad. But for me, it's definitely not an option first especially because of the pricing and second thing uh, because of the storage limitation and the third thing is also that the video editor is not as comprehensive and not as easy to use as capwing i would say capwing has still the way better overall package than the Veed IO. But it will be interesting to see how Capping is responding to these functions. I mean, I have already told them about one month ago when they came out with the automatic scripting, editing, I told them exactly what we need, that we need exactly these functions. But unfortunately, uh, usually you don't get a lot of feedback from the Capping uh, support they are working really hard in the background but you never know what they are exactly working on but they are pretty innovative they come up with new functions every now and then so i'm trusting i believe in them and so i keep going with the cap wing uh, which you can see here definitely much cleaner editor much more normal functions much easier to use much closer to a normal standalone video editing program but we still have a lot of ai and so overall i would say it's still the most efficient video editor on the planet and so if you're interested i'll put down the link where you can uh, start subscribing to capwing it's an affiliate link which helps my channel but doesn't have any disadvantages for you so you can click on it and start uh, opening an account and do also some a subscription if you like but you can also start with a free uh, program on capping try it out and see what it can do for you and so i hope being able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time